If you are the type of person who really struggles with food guilt and you tend to see food as either good or bad, and whenever you eat bad food, you feel like you messed up your healthy eating for the day and you're just like, screw it, I already messed up, so I might as well just eat everything I've been craving and then start healthy tomorrow, eating my good, clean foods. This video is for you. Hello guys, my name is Vivian, but you can call me Viv, and this is the mindset that I have struggled with for over 10 years of my life. And I've come out on the other side, but holy cow, getting over this mindset, who knew that it could take 10 years and be so freaking challenging? If you're in this position right now, you know exactly what I mean. You are on this yo-yo dieting roller coaster. You're either doing great or you're binging on every sugary snack you haven't let yourself had in the last week or two or month, right? So if this is you, today we are going to talk about how to overcome this food guilt, this good, bad food mindset, so that you can feel and look your best and get off this emotionally draining cycle with food. So we are going to start by first talking about the mindset that you need when you are approaching food. Something that I've noticed in my journey is that how I approach food, whether it's healthy or unhealthy, makes a huge difference in my experience with it. So if I approach food, if I approach this slice of pizza or this bowl of ice cream saying, I should not be having this. I should not be having this. This is bad. This is wrong. This is going to make me fat. This is going to make me gain weight. What will happen is I will scarf down that food as quickly as possible because I don't want my brain to register that I'm eating this bad food. And because I'm eating it so quickly, I don't even register that I'm eating it. And then my my hunger cues and my fullness cues, they don't kick in because I'm eating so quickly that I'm not giving my body and my mind time to process and digest and actually register that it is full from what I've eaten. So I'm scarfing it down. I eat the slice of pizza or the bowl of ice cream in 20 seconds. And again, because I'm eating so quickly, my stomach doesn't have time to register that it's full. And because I still feel hungry, I just keep eating and eating, especially because it tastes so good and I haven't had this in so long. And 10 minutes later, I have eaten thousands, thousands of calories of this food that was off limits. I feel horrible. I feel like I want to throw up. My stomach is in so much pain. I'm literally hurling over in pain. I can't move. And all because when I approached this food, I said this was bad, this was wrong, which led me to eating it as quickly as possible. So the mindset that you have when you approach food is going to make a world of a difference in whether or not you end up binging and overeating and ultimately yo-yo dieting. Because when you binge eat and when you overeat, what do you want to do the next day? You want to restrict. You want to starve yourself. You want to make up for all of the thousands of calories that you ate the night before, right? So what I have learned is that I am going to have junk food. We live in a society where it is ever present. Every corner, everywhere you look, every party, every social gathering. There's going to be junk food, processed foods, bad foods, whatever you want to call it. And none of us are robots. It's not as easy as, oh, no, I'm just never going to have it. I'm not going to have cravings. I'm not going to want it. I'm just turning that part of me off. If you've been through this cycle, you know that when it's around you, when you see it, you crave it. You want it. And so I have had to learn how to make peace with the fact that I'm going to have some junk food. And that's okay. 
It's not bad. It's not wrong. All right. Now, is it ideal for your health? No, but either is drinking or scrolling on social media or staying up late or doing a lot of the things that 99.9% of us do. We're humans. We work with what we're given. Okay. So understanding that I'm going to have junk food and I'm going to need to learn to make peace with that because I can't keep fighting with myself and going on this yo-yo dieting, binge eating restrict cycle. Not unless I actually want to be mentally sane and happy and healthy. So first coming to the understanding that I'm going to have junk food. It is what it is. It's I'm going to enjoy it. All right. So first step, understanding that you're going to have it. You can't say no to it forever. All right. Step two. Okay. Well, if that's the case, when I approach this food that I previously deemed as bad or unhealthy, I am going to need to change my mindset around how I approach it. So instead of telling myself that this is bad or this is wrong, I'm going to say, you know what? If I'm going to have this, I am going to enjoy every bite. I'm going to enjoy every bite. I'm going to savor the flavor and the texture. And I am going to eat slowly. I'm going to really just take my time with this magnificent food. And I am not going to guilt or shame myself for it. And for me, when I have approached food that way, crazy enough, This is crazy if you've ever been in a situation where you feel like once you start, you can't stop. I can stop. I can stop eating it after a small portion. Insanity. I have never known. I have never known that level of self-control before. I was the type of person where as soon as I tasted something that wasn't chicken breast or broccoli, the flavor... I. It's like a monster took over. I could not stop. But again, a huge part of it, which I never realized, was the mindset that I was approaching this food with. Once I switched my mindset to, you know what? This is not bad. I'm going to enjoy every bite. I'm going to take my time. When I take a bite, I'm going to put my fork down and chew and chew slowly. And again, just savor every bite. I've never done that before. It's Like, if I have a piece of cake or pie, it's, right? Like, I don't even chew. It's just scarf as much down as quickly as possible. You'd think that I was in a pie-eating contest. So before I approach it now, I go, okay, I'm going to consciously put my fork down between bites. I'm going to chew slowly so I really get every single flavor out of this bite. And I'm just going to enjoy it like this is the last piece of pie on earth. So now it's small, small, first of all, small bite, put it in my mouth, put my fork down, chew, and I will literally close my eyes. I don't care how ridiculous I look. I will close my eyes. I'm just like, taste every morsel of that bite. And I, I really taste the flavors. And I just register how good it tastes. And then I do it again. And I'm going to tell you right now, it takes a lot of self-control because all you want to do is shovel the food in. But once I started practicing this, the satisfaction that I get now from desserts and treats, the difference is insane. And I have no food guilt, especially because I have consciously told myself, I'm going to enjoy this and I'm going to make a conscious decision to have this dessert or whatever I'm eating rather than approaching it and saying, I shouldn't have this. I'm bad. I'm going to get fat. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to have it. Right. Totally different energy when I approach that food. Now I'm going to tell you right now, if you've been in this binge eating overeating cycle for a very long time, like 10 plus years, like I had, it's going to feel very off at first because you are breaking a strong old conditioning pattern to approach all these off limits foods with a sense of calm and confidence and consciousness it doesn't happen immediately and i'm sure you've heard the the phrase fake it till you make it 
that's what I did in the beginning. I just pretended like I was approaching it with calm, confidence, even though that's not necessarily how I felt. I felt a little anxious, like, oh my God, am I really going to have this? But the more I practice that, I'm going to be confident. I'm going to consciously make this decision. I'm going to approach this food as if I've done this a million times. Like I have a healthy relationship with food. When I kept practicing that mindset and that energy, it has now become a part of me because I've practiced it so many times. But I will tell you right now, if you're in the beginning stages of overcoming your binge eating and yo-yo dieting, it's going to feel foreign and that is completely okay. Think of your job you have now when you first started. All of the new skills that you had to learn, right? First day on the job, you're nervous, you're scared, you don't know what you're doing, you don't have confidence in yourself. Well, a couple months later, a year later, you could do your job with your eyes closed. You have no nerves when you go to work, right? You know the job inside out with your eyes closed. If you were sleeping, you could do the job. I'm telling you right now, having a healthy relationship with food, seeing food as your friend, getting rid of that food guilt, it is just like your job. It's going to feel weird and anxiety provoking and foreign in the beginning, but the more you show up and allow yourself to do this practice and be present and really consciously make these decisions and not choose guilt, but choose confidence that you are making this decision and that is okay, you are eventually going to feel confident in your food decisions. But again, in the beginning, I'm telling you, it is a lot of fake it till you make it, but the more you practice it, the more it will become you. So I really, truly hope you derived value from this video. This mindset when approaching food has been a complete game changer for me. I never thought that I would get here. I never thought that I could see food as my friend. I really didn't because I was fighting against food in my body for so long, so long. If you need to, please re-watch this video over and over again. Listen to it on the way to work, when you're in the shower, to really understand and to really embrace this mindset of you can consciously choose to have the foods that you're craving and do so in a calm, confident manner, which inevitably is going to lead you to eat a small portion where you still feel great after. It's going to leave you with a feeling of self-control that you never thought you could have. Now, if you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one for online nutrition and fitness coaching, then please head to www.teenevolve.co and submit an application to work with me. If you want to follow me on my social medias, then you can follow me on Instagram at Vivian No. And you can also follow me on TikTok at Vivian No with an underscore at the end. Now, if you would like to see more binge eating, emotional eating, yo-yo dieting videos from me, then go ahead and click this video right here. And otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.